This is Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. A clinic in Harlem is preparing to transform into a supportive housing tower with mental health services. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell has more. Emma L. Bowen stood out as a visionary when she created the Upper Manhattan Mental Health Center in 1969, offering therapy, treatment, and substance abuse recovery in one building. You consider the needs of mental health at that time and the absence of mental health care, and you look at where we are today, you see that the need is even greater. Board Chair Patricia Jordan has spent 40 years working at the center that's now named after her late friend, learning how to break through the stigma set firmly within certain cultures here. That struggle continues today. Yumi Rodriguez had an anxiety attack, worrying about her chronically ill family members, who then questioned her need for therapy. It just felt like I was carrying the weight of everything on my shoulders. Um, so I sought help. <laughs> and this is in my community. Her sessions here have inspired a new career geared towards giving back. I'm going to go to school for climate justice. Um, so, kind of like helping marginalized communities also seek help. Thank you. The Bowen Center services start from preschool. The pantry offers free fresh food for families, and the Able House the center owns in East Harlem holds 20 beds for men and women recovering from substance abuse. Whatever is needed to help them become whole so they can transition back into the community. But later this year, the center will face a major shift, with the city land it sits on set to transform into a nine story, 200 bed tower supporting the homeless, seniors, and low-income families of the neighborhood with space for a newly built center below. During construction, Bowen Center staff will work at full capacity from West 135th Street near Broadway, 10 blocks away. Sometimes when you go from a old design to a new design, it makes for a situation where it's even more comfortable. The city expects the center to stay in the temporary spot for up to five years. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. The city has not yet announced a date for demolition, but it reports the project is an effort to increase affordable housing in an area that's built fewer than the average number of units over the past decade. And if you have a story you'd like to share with Jesse, you can email harlemtip at cbs.com.